Let's talk about energy density of a battery. The reason why, if you're serious as a contractor handyman, why you want an inverter and battery bank, preferably lithium ion batteries, uh, as opposed to having just 30 or 40 batteries, because for one, it costs a lot of money. That's the main thing. It costs a lot of money. Might as well just DIY a small inverter with a battery. That way you can charge your five, six, seven batteries at a time. And you can obviously be working on a job site using some batteries and having some charge at the same time. So let's just go through energy density. As far as batteries are concerned, that's pretty much watt hours or the universal way of seeing how big, how much energy a battery can have. And watt hours are easily calculated by volts, times, amp hours of the battery. As you can see, it's an M18 battery, 12 amp hours, 18 times 12, 216. So 216 watt hours for that battery. And if you do the math on the uh, LI times 48 volt, you can see that it's gonna have 51.2 times 100, 5,120 watt hours for that battery. So 20, you know, a little less than 24 of these M12, or I'm sorry, M18 12 amp hour batteries go into the energy density of one of these. And we're gonna see this battery, this LA time costs about three to four times what this battery costs. So with a little bit of, you know, wiring and an inverter, you can have the energy density of almost 24 of these M18 12 amp hour batteries with just a little bit of work and you don't have to buy them obviously you're gonna have a couple of these batteries and obviously 40 volts times 4 amp hours you're 160 realistically it's a 36 volt battery but we're not going to go there Makita. anyways you guys can see where it comes from so if in efficiency and cost is your concern an inverter with a lithium ion battery is a definitely a better way better investment of your time and money than just buying a bunch of uh the tool ba brand batteries